<clears throat> From a poetry of prayer, a boy. Some small bass leaped in the pond under the falling water. I was to go there later. And if it be known, I would choose to remain over all other things. A boy, his rod, the streaming water, the sun, and beyond them, nothing. No life lived or to be lived, no fears, all a beneficence, waiting for the rain, for the moon, for the sun again, for the moon again. In this way pass many years, many centuries. For you see, these are the ambitions of all children, and more so when we look back that nothing changed from that one magical day. This is as it was in the garden, though we were more grown and by necessity must revert to seeing ourselves as boys. In a later time, Lot's wife was struck salt for looking back. Yet it seems to be a yearning for other things, while this an innocent remembrance of a time when we were not against you we had not yet conceived our ambitions or thought we knew what was love, had not strayed to be a god of our own life. And who shall say these fine moments are out of reach? They are not lived in the body. They are lived in the spirit. And this not an elevation of the magnificence of the human spirit. This is the modern theory of all the world that we shall ascend. Who is watching? This has never occurred in all of history. Oh yes, there were moments, these only nurturing the possibility that we have ascended. To go against God is not to ascend, but to descend. And we all have chosen foolishness, the material, the abject turning away as against the recognition of the loving Father, dying Savior rising king of all that ever was or will be. No, these are not passed away. Say we have failed utterly. The Christ in Gethsemane was sent an angel to strengthen him. So I am feeble and do not walk well. My mind has gaps. I am still afraid. Clearly I shall not ascend, but angels may be sent to strengthen me. The Spirit has, has his messengers. They do announce good tidings, accompany dreams, weep to human loss, then are assigned to come with you upon the clouds and to carry us up in chariots. And to where? To innocence. To water falling on our boyish head. And we have known love, blessing, and honor to the human spirit.